what's new in the April edition of Pixel Experience ROM for the Xiaomi POCO F1. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you what is new in the April edition of Pixel Experience ROM for the Xiaomi POCO F1. This video is applicable for the normal build and for the plus edition as well the only extra feature in plus edition is long screenshot all the other features which we talk about in this video are applicable to both the normal edition and the plus edition as you can see i am running the plus edition on my poco f1 and the first change you will notice is that the security patch level has changed to april 5th 2020 which is the latest security patch right now Next up, we're going to handle the elephant in the room. Yes, J. Henry K. was successful in implementing and in adding face unlock to Android 10. And the best part about it is that devices which have a front IR camera, his implementation uses the IR camera, which means that for us Poco peeps, we are going to be using the front IR camera for face unlock where do you find it well you go into settings security as you can see the option right now is grayed out and that is because we first have to set a screen lock and once you have set up a screen lock the option is now enabled tap on it enter your pin password or whatever gesture you had set up for screen lock and now face unlock wants to take pictures and record video click on allow it gives you some information about face unlock that it is less secure than pattern pin or password somebody whose face is similar to yours can unlock your device and the fact that the pictures or the data which is used by face unlock is stored on the device itself all we need to do is click on next and bam there it is you can see the circle where you have to align the face is black and white which means it is using the front ir camera and if I click on try again, let me bring the phone a bit closer. You did see the front IR camera blink a little bit. There it is. You can see the light being activated from the front IR camera, which is proof enough that it is using the front IR camera for face unlock. Let me set up my face real quick. And once you're done setting up your face, you have a toggle to bypass the lock screen, wherein when you press the power button, and it detects your face the phone will automatically go either to the home screen or to the last used application choose whatever option you feel like and then click on done and trust me this face unlock is very fast as per my video editing software it unlocks the device within 0.5 seconds of pressing power button pretty fast pretty impressive and hats off to j henry k oh and by the way, on the POCO F1, if your eyes are closed, face unlock will not work. It took Google six months to implement it. Guess what? J. Henry K. did it better in my opinion. The next change you will notice is that you now have a screen recorder baked in. How do you activate the screen recorder? Well, you open your quick settings, click on the edit button and bam, at the bottom, we have the option for screen recorder. All we need to do is drag and drop it to our active tiles and we can go back and we should have the option for record screen. Here it is. It wants access to audio. And yes, this screen recorder does record internal audio. Click on allow on the top left. You will see that it is now recording. Once you're done recording, all you need to do is tap on stop. It's going to save the recording and then you can either play it share it or delete it the next change is that they have fixed android auto and wft wherein wft stands for wi-fi direct now i personally have no way of testing both these features if somebody tests them do let me know via comment below whether it is working or not working and in case it is not working feel free to report it to the developers with logs in the xda thread and the next feature which is exclusive to the pixel experience plus edition build is long screenshot so let me take a screenshot i now have the option of long screenshot tap here it will scroll down a little tap one more time it will scroll down 
until the end and then if i tap anywhere else the screenshot is now saved so there it is peeps those are the new features which were added in the april edition of pixel experience rom for the poco f1 and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you